Let's take this uh, practice problem. Here we are going to evaluate a project uh, using NPV. A Limited is computerizing its operations by investing in computers and related equipment at the cost of Rs. 250,000. These have 5 years life but no salvage value. Expected annual savings or salaries of 15,000 each for 10 members. Production delays reduced Rs. 8,000. Local taxes saved Rs. 12,000. Billing costs saved Rs. 3,000. But by taking this project, there are some cost, expected cost or depreciation on straight line basis and salaries of computer staff and maintenance Rs. 92,000 annually. The question 1. Can the proposal be implemented assuming tax rate of 40% and cost of capital at 12%? Question 2. Will your answer differ if the pre-tax realizable value of computer is Rs. 25,000 at the end of the fifth year? Okay. So here if you notice, the cost of the project is 250000 and the inflows are in the form of savings. So these are all the inflows and uh, these are all the cost. I won't say outflow because depreciation is not an outflow. But we will consider this depreciation to reduce the taxes. Then we'll add it back. Okay. And tax rate is 40%. Cost of capital is 12%. Let's uh, start with the working note. Question 1. Can the proposal be implemented assuming tax rate of 40%? Okay. So for evaluating a capital project, first we have to find out what is the initial outflow. In this case, it is pretty straightforward. Initial outflow that is capital expenditure is 250000 No information is given about working capital. So total it is 250000 Next, we should know what are the in-between flows. That is by taking up the project, what is the net cash flows this entity is making? It is making it in the form of savings. Savings are salaries of 15,000 for 10 members. So 15,000 into 10, 150,000. Then there are savings in production delays to the extent of 8,000. Savings in local taxes of 12,000 and savings in billing cost of uh, 3,000. So all this put together, total savings of how much? 173,000. From this, let us deduct the cost. One is depreciation. And what is the information we have regarding depreciation? Depreciation is on straight line basis. And we don't have any residual value. If that is the case, this 250,000 have to be divided by 5. So annual depreciation is 50,000. Then there are also salaries of computer staff and maintenance, which is 92,000 annually. Let's factor that also. Salaries of computer staff and maintenance, 92,000. So if you add these two, 50,000 plus 92,000, you get 142000 this is a deduction because it's a cost and this are all the savings so from the savings you reduce the cost and what you get is net savings of 31000 on this tax have to be provided at the rate of 40% so less tax at 40% 31000 into 40% it is 12400 so from that if you reduce that is from 31000 if you reduce 12400 you get net savings after tax of 18600 now to find out the cash flows after tax, what we should do? We should add back depreciation. What is the depreciation amount? Already we have calculated depreciation is 50,000 that is getting added. So net savings after tax, add back depreciation of 50,000. So you get cash flows after tax of 68,600. This is your in-between flow. Now it's time to compute NPV. Working note 3, computation of NPV will have this year cash flows discount factor at 12% because that is the cost of capital given in the question, right? Cost of capital rate is 12% and then we have to find the present value. Here it is from 0 to 5 because the useful life is mentioned as 5 years. 0 is the year in which the initial outflow take place and what is the initial outflow? It is 2,50,000 and annual inflows we have calculated here. That's what coming here year after year. It is getting repeated. Okay. So for all the 5 years I have repeated. And uh, then we have to find the present value by discounting the cash flow. So you have to use discount factor at 12 percentage. You can go to PVIF table at 12 percent or simply apply the formula. The formula is 1 divided by 1 plus i to the power n. So 1 divided by 1 plus 12 percent to the power 0 to the power 1 to the power 2 and it goes up to 5. Okay, so these are all the discount factors. Now instead of uh, calculating this discount factor for all the five years you could simply take pv ifa for five years also okay that is for the fifth year if you take uh, instead of uh, writing it five times you can just take the sum of all the 
five discount factors, which is uh, three point six zero five. So sixty eight thousand six hundred into this three point six zero five will also give the sum of these numbers. Okay, fine. So now let's multiply. Present value is nothing but cash flows multiplied by discount factor. Cash flows multiplied by discount factor. Do this for each and every year cash flow. Okay. So what you can notice is these are all the inflows and this is an outflow. So PV of inflow minus PV of outflow will give you NPV. And what you get as NPV here is negative. NPV is negative 2712.353. So NPV is negative. The project should not be accepted. Okay. This is answering question one. Question two. Will your answer differ if the pre-tax realizable value of computer is twenty-five thousand at the end of the fifth year? Okay, so in question one, we said there is no realizable value for the computer, whereas in question two, they are saying there is a pre-tax realizable value of computer. Right. If that is the case, whether we will accept or reject the project, that's what we are going to see. See, all these are same. I mean, uh, working note one, initial outflow is same. In between flows of sixty-eight thousand six hundred is same. This is what we have worked now. Now the task is we have to compute the terminal flow. Question says it is twenty-five thousand, but it is pre-tax. Okay. Now listen. What is the original cost? It was two lakh fifty thousand. And over a period of five years, we have depreciated it using straight line method. So two lakh fifty thousand divided by five, fifty thousand. Fifty thousand to five for all the five years, two lakh fifty thousand has been provided. So book value was zero. But what is the gross sale proceeds information we have in the question? Twenty-five thousand. Book value is zero. Sale proceeds is twenty-five thousand. So this entire twenty-five thousand is profit. On this tax will be levied at the rate of forty percent. Okay. So from this profit on sale, let's apply forty percent tax, which is ten thousand. And this profit on sale itself is our gross sale proceeds. So from this twenty-five thousand. Or from this gross sale proceeds, you have to deduct the tax of forty percent. That is ten thousand. So you get net sale proceeds or sale proceeds net of tax, which is fifteen thousand. Okay. So this fifteen thousand should also be included in the fifth year cash flow, which is your terminal cash flow. Okay. So let's have working note four. Computation of net present value. Here, all these items are same up to year one, two, three, four. Up to four. Absolutely no difference between question one and question two. The difference lies in year five. What is the year four cash flow? Sixty eight six hundred. Year five operational cash flow is also sixty eight six hundred. But with that sixty eight six hundred, we have to add this sale proceeds net of tax of fifteen thousand. So how much it is? Eighty three thousand six hundred. Multiply all the cash flows with the respective discount factors. You get the PV, and these are all PV of inflow. This is PV of outflow. PV of inflow minus PV of outflow gives you NPV, and here if you notice NPV is positive. Okay, so when this project has some terminal value, that is when the terminal value is twenty five thousand, and when the net terminal value, that is net of tax is fifteen thousand, the project turns out to be a positive NPV project. So project can be accepted. Okay, so here we say as NPV is positive. Project can be accepted. Okay.